first ride of the day. My name is Brad, um, and as we just take off here, just please remain seated. Yeah, there's going to be plenty of bumps, and we don't need new ones, really. Um, now, I know it's pretty early, but have you guys seen the picture? Yeah, yeah some people have, some people have their picture up over here. They're really cute and juicy. All right. Um, but make sure when you're there drilling over the, all the bacon, turn around and check out this enclosure. Now this is our fox enclosure. We actually have five red European foxes on display in there. Um, we are the only park in New South Wales with foxes on display. So, um, pretty lucky for you to be here at the farm and be able to see our foxes. They're actually quite a good little animal too. Good token species really, just for us to be able to talk about um, why we have such strict quarantine and biosecurity laws here in Australia um, and the detriment that those animals do. Now the bull's in the paddock. Anyone want to have a guess where the bull is? Anyone ever want to have a point to where the bull is? Yeah, a few people at the back realise. That's Chief just there. He's got no horns. Okay. The other two on the other side, well, one up here on the near the tree and the guys sitting down just here these are our texas longhorns our texas longhorns are what we call bullocks now bullocks are like a poor man's horse okay so back in the day horses were very expensive so we used animals like our bullocks here to use them to pull around our carts and our logs and all of that sort of thing so Bullocks are a very important animal um, and also a lot, saved us a lot of money back in the day uh, having to buy horses all the time. Now the farm itself originates way back in the early 1800s with the early settlers. And over that time we have had a lot of different owners, a lot of families, individuals, corporations have all owned the farm. And one of our biggest users was a group called the Big Brother Movement. Now what they did was they brought young people out from around Europe and Australia. They brought them here to the farm to teach them how to become farmers. So all the shows and demonstrations we put on for you today are all the type of skills that were taught to these young guys. Now when they were skilled up, they got to go back home where they could then put those skills to use. taken over by Fairfield Council and it operated as Fairfield City Farm. So a lot of us adults grew up knowing the farm as that. But approximately nine years ago the farm was taken over by a private organisation and they're now calling it, as the big sign out the front suggests, that we're now calling it Carmsley Hill City Farm. Now with the changing of ownership over the years the property itself has shrunk in size, but the way we use our land has not changed. We divide the property into paddocks, and this enables us to always have food for our animals. Now, as we saw, we have a herd of cattle in this paddock at the moment, but also...